I put these batteries into my uh, solar shed uh, a few weeks ago and uh, they've been running really well so far but a few people did mention on the last video that this probably isn't an optimal configuration due to the way that I have all eight AGM batteries in parallel. And the issue there is that if one of these batteries goes bad then potentially all the other batteries start feeding energy into it and the whole battery bank suffers as a result. Now I completely agree that could be a problem but I think as long as I monitor these fairly regularly it should be okay. So they've had a decent charge today this morning they were nice and bright so uh, let's get the main positive there and without knocking everything the main negative so they're sat quite nicely now with the sun down at 13.14 volts but of course checking the voltage on all the batteries isn't the full story it could still have one battery pulling the whole pack down so what we need to do is uh, put a load on these batteries and measure the current between each battery and hopefully that should increase as we go along so I've got a 60 watt incandescent bulb that's actually lighting the batteries at the moment I'm going to put that on my inverter and then we'll see how well these batteries perform so that incandescent bulb is now attached to my inverter uh, which is the noise in the background it's uh, going to be pulling five amps ish I think uh, possibly up to six and uh, that's been on for a little while so I'm giving these batteries a decent test so what I'm going to do now is use my DC clamp meter I'm going to set it to the 6 amp range 6000 milliamps there uh, change it to DC and zero it so if we test the main positive there yeah 4955 milliamp hours being drawn from these batteries at the moment so what I'm going to do now is check each of the interconnection cables and that current should increase hopefully fairly regularly and uniformly each time. So if we check the first one, 626 milliamps, so 1248, that sounds about right, 1864, this is the difficult one at the back. 2450 sorry if you couldn't see that um, 3000 almost on the button 3650 4200 and of course just to confirm 5000 on the output so each of these batteries is delivering uh, about 650 milliamps of current and that's all adding up and accumulating to eventually we get to 5 amps on the output. So I'm fairly pleased that these are all performing quite nicely. But I will just check the voltage now that they're under load. 12.75 volts. So this inverter has been drawing 5 amps now for a little while. So that's to be expected. 12.76 volts. So I think that's been a pretty good test of this battery bank and uh, this is something I'll probably do once a month, once every six weeks, something like that, um, unless I notice anything in particular on the charge control with the voltage dropping overnight, something like that. Um, so I'm pretty pleased that every one of these batteries is working as it should. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give the thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.